Hi YouTube, um, I'm just going to do the second part of my uh, adult red blood python feeding video. Um, she caught the rat in the um, first video, which she didn't catch it because it was defrosted, but she grabbed it. So here it is. She's. Uh, this is where we sort of left off in the last video. So I just let her carry on and swallow this. So yeah, this is a an extra large rat. Um, they're a big snake, you know, big chunky snake. So this is um, this is a, a sort of good sized meal, or a reasonable sized meal. But she'll quite happily take a couple of these. You could probably give her something even larger, but um, these are what I sort of give her as standard. So yeah, I mentioned in my last video these guys have been me uh, mating a lot. Uh, when I bred them last time, they paired up. I think fifty-six hours was the the longest they were joined together. This time they have been together for um, sort of forty-eight hours as well. So yeah, good good amounts of time with their um, tails joined together. Um, just in case you didn't see my last video, uh, there's the male's head there, look, that's him, and yeah, their tails are down, and they're not joined anymore, they, but they were earlier tonight. So hopefully I'll get to breed them again, because it was really cool last time, hatching out all the eggs and just seeing that whole process. The eggs are pretty big as well. And yeah, the, the juvenile snakes, when they hatch out, are a good size. You get the feeling, you know, they're, they're pretty strong straight away. So you can see her dislocating her jaw. Um, check out my other videos because there's a I've got a green tree python as well, and that I did a video of that one eating as well. And uh, yeah, you can see the the jaw kind of um, they do a sort of walking thing with their jaw, where because their jaw is in two halves, they they can kind of push one half of the bottom jaw forward. A little bit around the rat or the mouse, and then they can do the same with the other half. So it kind of, yeah, it sort of has this almost like a walking motion over the the rat as the rat goes further into their mouth. So this will last her for a week before she gets the next one. Um, you could probably go a couple of weeks, you know, she'd be fine, but I usually try and, especially if they've been um, mating, I try and uh, give her one a week for a while just to kind of um, fatten her up, get her to lay as many eggs as possible. It's important though towards the end of, you know, when she's thinking about laying eggs um, not to feed them too much at that point because if they become obese it can stop them from laying their eggs. Yeah, these snakes, um, they weigh a lot, and they have quite a bad reputation. I've mentioned this in another video. Like, um, if 
I, I think it's probably a lot of the ones that are kept in captivity. They might have been cat. They might have been um, caught in the wild, wild caught specimens, and they're obviously going to be aggressive because they're used to being in the wild. They're not used to people at all. But then people captive breed them, and then if you keep the juveniles and you never hold them. Um, they can become quite aggressive as well. So my adult pair here, although they're captive bred, um, they are a bit feisty. Um, I can get them out, I just have to be really careful to let them know uh, in a way that I'm getting them out. Once they're out of the cage and they know like it's not feeding time, um, they calm down quite a bit. But yeah, the juveniles, if you, you know, from hatchlings, if you just feed them and then hold them you know in between meals not straight after they've eaten obviously but hold them uh, after a few days you know after feeding them and just give them quite long holds each time they get used to it and then before you know it you'll have an adult snake like this that's used to being handled and then it's like a lovely animal, you know, because it's so big and heavy and impressive that you can get it out and show people and much nicer to be able to have a snake like this that's not going to turn around and bite you. <laughs> so she's just resetting her jaw there and she'll be done. Okay, so what I might do at this point is try and take the um, the other rat out of their cage because I really want the male to have this one. I mean, if the male ever doesn't eat, I'll just give it to the female instead and it's fine. She's pretty greedy, she'll probably eat as many as you give her. <laughs> um, but what I'll do is I'll stop this video now at this point and I'll... Um, I'll feed the male separately. He sometimes takes a bit more sort of enticing to feed. Like she will eat without the rat being warmed up at all, but he needs it warmed up really. So I'll just, you know, heat up some water, dip the rat's head in the in the water so it's nice and warm, and then um, offer it to him, and he'll probably take it. Okay, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, and more of my other animals, um, I've got a three-banded armadillo, for example, um, hit subscribe, check out my other videos, and any new things that I post up, if you're a subscriber, you'll get to see them um, straight away. Catch you in the next video.